hungry sky closes in on Fargo, North Dakota. A tornado about to hit. In the late afternoon of June 20th, 1957, a ferocious tornado ripped through the metropolitan area of Fargo, North Dakota. Altogether, some 100 blocks were affected by the storm. Fire and police officials were on the scene. Quickly. Buyers immediately dispatched Vegeta to learn more. Working with a local TV weatherman, Vegeta called upon residents to submit their personal photos of the storm. The young Japanese scientist then interviewed eyewitnesses to collect their first-hand observations. He found they were just as interested in him as they were the research he was conducting. When I went out there, he said, some asked, where is Japan? They asked me what I was doing. I'm studying tornadoes. Vegeta soon collected nearly 200 images of the storm. Blurry pictures of flying debris to most people. A treasure trove of data to Vegeta. Fujita gathered photographs from 53 different locations. Someone has taken a picture of the tornado here looking one direction, another person at the same time has taken a picture looking from another direction. He very meticulously identified the location from which each shot was taken. He corrected for the differences of perspective, and he was able to put together a single narrative of the tornado. After two years of painstaking analysis, Vegeta assembled the first motion picture depicting the entire life cycle of a tornado, and what Vegeta named its rotating parent cloud, or supercell thunderstorm. Out of Dr. Fujita's studies, the 1957 Fargo tornado came terms that are still used. Wall cloud, the low-hanging cloud that is the rotating updraft portion of the storm that tornado often drops down near the edge or right underneath that. Collar cloud, a little ring around the wall cloud. Tail cloud, horizontal tube that comes in from the edge of the storm and gets picked up in the updraft. It was one of the masterful studies of all time for severe weather meteorology. Vegeta's research declared the tornadoes were not random, but instead occurred as the result of well-organized conditions. Having proved that tornadoes could indeed be approached and studied, he was more determined than ever to unlock the mysteries of what caused these severe storms.